Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to their CSGO video. This, of course, being our Legend Stage pickums. But two things before we get into the video. Again, I just want to, uh, I know I do this all the time, but thank you all very much. This past weekend, we broke 20,000 subscribers. And uh, just uh, an immense thank you to all of you guys. Also, we're doing a giveaway for a CSGO knife. It's going to be a gut knife lore. It'll be linked down below. But also, stay tuned in the future. It'll be a dedicated 20,000 subscriber video. And we're going to give away something, uh, something better than just a CSGO knife. So just one big thank you to all of you guys who watched this past week have left comments you guys are truly amazing but let's break down the legend stage pickums because two times gold trophy pick em holder if you guys did trust me you would have come away with at least six points and hopefully everyone watching this video did get their one point for actually getting those five correct pickums throughout the challenger stage so i hope you guys trusted me if you actually trusted what i said and chose greyhound zero and three as well you should have come away with seven points or at least at the very least six points like i did so i hope you guys all enjoy let's give you a quick breakdown if you want a more extended breakdown on why i chose these picks like a really lengthy i might actually have a video out today as well for actual csgo news where I explain these pickums more in depth but let's do it guys let's break it down your legend stage pickums predictions for IEM Katowice and let's uh let's uh cause some of you guys to get angry at me now number one I'm going to restress this because a lot of people out there tend to focus on their 3-0 and 0-3 picks a bit too much Play it safe, guys. Do not choose a team you think is going to go through, uh, especially in the 3-0 slot. Do not choose a team that's almost guaranteed to go through in your 3-0 slot. Take your free points. But for the 0-3 slot, it is, in my opinion, pretty much a almost a lock, right? 0-3 picks are never really locks, and same with 3-0 picks. They're very hard to predict. Complexity is the weakest team, in my opinion, here that we have seen so far over the past month. Of course, those brand, two new brand new players as well with Ricky and nothing. I think questionable pickups for that roster, from what I've heard as well, practice maybe not going too well for that squad against these teams from what I've seen complexity has to be my 0-3 pick although I will say from what I saw on the challenger stage I almost wanted to double down on my G2 pick I know a lot of you guys are G2 fans and are maybe pretty confident with their last game against Ty Lu, their last best of three they looked stellar or Ty Lu looked cr uh, crazy bad it really depends how you actually approach that look I almost chose G2 I think G2 would still be a questionable choice I even think dare I say it cloud nine could be an 0-3 choice although just wait don't get mad at me yet guys complexity has to be my 0-3 choice now also for the bottom row obviously your most important ones go with the picks that are almost guaranteed nrg looks stellar throughout challenger stage even though their best of three against Ty Lu was fairly close they looked amazing uh, of course astralis and liquid are your locks Please do me a favor. If I see your guys' pickums on Twitter, at least put Liquid and Astralis in your bottom row. Take your two guaranteed points. Because it is like 99% that these two teams are going to go through. I don't want to see you guys choosing Astralis and Liquid in that 3-0 slot. Although I know we're going to see people choose like a Liquid, even probably Astralis, maybe a Na'Vi in those 3-0 slots. Please do me a favor. Use your guaranteed picks, guys. Astralis, Liquid, NRG should be probably three of your first picks there. I also chose MIBR, a definitely definite dominant team, a team I'm very confident on. And uh, the remaining three picks down here are going to be pretty much up in the air. If I'm being straightforward with you guys, I'm, I'm not very confident with Na'Vi. I'm going to put them there because I'm going to put them alongside FaZe Clan because the sheer amount of talent on those rosters between Simple and Electronic, I do really, I, I tend to trust Na'Vi because they're still likely a top five, likely a top seven team in the world at any point in time. And they can pop off. Although I will say the HLTV interviews with Zeus before this did not give me any confidence and also look at the past three weeks of results for Navi nearly lost in the best of three to a Vanguard they did lose to North they did lose to Heroic they came back and beat I believe it was actually Heroic and a best of three as well but still those losses speak for themselves uh, Zeus also came at four with HLTV he clearly said he's not even enjoying the game anymore doesn't even want to raise the level of these players he's playing with anymore and that confident that, that lack of confidence literally blew my mind so the one pick down here that I'm probably most not trustworthy of is probably that Navi pick but because of the talent and the, because of the potential ceiling of this team I have to choose Navi I have to choose FaZe Clan FaZe Clan looks a bit shaky here and there as well of course Adren their newest member but the sheer amount of talent on that roster means they have to be picked and then very lastly pretty much a toss up pick like these last two with Navi and FaZe but definitely a toss up pick will be the seventh one it really depends for me uh, yes RPK probably your weakest link if he shows up as well as MBK and the rest of the squad and of course Zaiwoo I think they go through but either way if NBK and Zai 
Jai Wu pop off. This roster in Vitality, I do have extreme faith in, and I, I, I hope, I'm, I'm not necessarily really trustworthy of them making it through, but I do hope they do. And again, this seventh pick, I can see you guys choosing a team like Renegades, uh, maybe a team like Cloud9 as well. But what I saw, I know a lot of you guys are North American fans, and please don't hate on me, but Liquid has to be by far and away your best alongside NRG. I am not trustworthy of this Cloud9 on their T side yet, and I, I just don't know if they click quite yet as well. Of course, without Golden, now Zelsus is in. I think we saw Zelsus kind of nearly crack under the pressure, although they do go through. It, it depends, right? It really depends how you look at it. My overall take, I will be taking Cloud9 as the 3 0 pick because if they win best of ones they get the ball rolling this team can definitely close it out if they don't win their best of ones they go to best of threes against these teams which are arguably much better than the challenger stage teams i do not trust cloud nine so please don't hate on me that's just my honest opinion currently where they're at right now not very trustworthy of them that's why i locked them in the 3-0 slot if they win their best of ones they snowball that momentum i do trust them to be an undefeated team if not though i just can't see them going through and that's my pickums i hope you guys all enjoy as always feel free to leave a comment down below what your pickums were and give me some reasoning as to why i'll make sure to upload a second video today kind of further explaining these picks alongside other csgo news out there because there were a few big announcements we'll touch on this afternoon um but yeah hope you guys all enjoy as always my name is jake this should be a near guaranteed five points remember that's what we're going for i'm not trying to make you guys angry i'm not trying to go for the maximum amount of points i'm trying to make some safe picks as well as some bold choices here and there so cloud nine complexity probably being those bold choices although complexity i'm definitely a little bit more strong on but i hope Hope you guys all enjoy. As always, my name is Jake. I'll see you back here this afternoon or tomorrow. Again, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. A giveaway will be linked down below as well as another giveaway coming sometime soon. And until next time, I'll see you then.